Let us quickly continue and finish off this exercise over here. We are trying to draw this particular line from here to here. So the line is tangent at this arc and over here it is maintaining some perpendicularity with this particular line. So first let us draw the line being tangent to this line and to this circle. So we have drawn the tangent line, right click, after which I'll select this and I'll extend this over here. In this way, extend it arbitrarily, randomly choose any point and you've extended it. After which, you'll select the line again. From here, you're going to start, that is, you're going to maintain tangency. And then for this line, for this inclined line, you have the condition over here that it is perpendicular. You need to start from tangency and you need to end it off at this inclined line with perpendicularity condition. So I'll click over here perpendicular option and I'll click over here in this way. Zoom in and you can see it clearly. In this way you have created this portion. The only thing remaining is to trim this off. You need to trim this inner portion that is between this line, press on your control button and this line. After which I'll choose my trim option, select trim and click on the circle. You have trimmed it. You can also trim this line as well. Left click in order to accept it. Right. Again select this control button, select this line as well. Trim this arc in this way. Okay. And again you need to start over here. I'll come back to my key points. Double click over here. From this till here and till the end point of this line. You can see this end point over here. Select this line, trim and click on this circle. In this way you have created this half of the portion. You can delete this. Okay. After creating this, next go with the mirroring option. The mirror option as you have already seen in your manipulate toolbar is present over here. I will select this entire figure. After selecting it, go with the mirror option. Click on mirror and right now it's coming in this way. So I need to choose vertical. About the vertical I want to mirror it and I will select it over here. Make sure that you check, that is you enable make the option because if you do not enable this, this mirror will be behaving like your symmetry command. That is it will delete the right side portion and only the left side portion will be created. I will enable make copy and I am going to place it over here. Then left click in order to accept it or confirm it. In this way you have created this figure. Next you can go with the dimensioning. As usual according to the given figure you can dimension it. Okay, So that completes this figure. In this way you can proceed along with all these figures over here. Usually whenever you are given an arc it's better to either use a fillet since fillets are more convenient you can just draw the arc using the fillet option over here 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 similarly we saw in the previous example we created fillets everywhere around here if at all the fillet is not satisfying the circumstances then you can go with the circle or the arc option okay now after seeing all these toolbars next we'll go for the hatching the hatching option the hatch over here is referred to as the patterns option you have the patterns toolbar over here and in which you are going to specify or you're going to create hatches now i'll draw a rectangle over here after drawing the rectangle in the patterns toolbar the first option over here is hatch area select the hatch area option and then go with the selection there are different methods of selection element intersection union difference flood points etc first select the element option and right now you can see the spacing angle tolerance values i'll select this rectangle after selecting that left click to accept the pattern now you can see the 
hatch has been created but the spacing is too huge the spacing has to reduce in order to delete the existing hatch I'll close this you have this option over here delete pattern select this and click on this option the pattern gets deleted select this and this time I'm going to reduce the spacing to some say 5 the angle is set to 45 degrees and tolerance is set to 0 now I'll click on this rectangle and left click again you can left click anywhere over here and this is how you'll be getting the hash pattern again if you are unsatisfied select this delete it hatch area set it to 0.5 in this way you're going to get it now in case you'd want it the one hatch at an angle of 45 degrees and one more hatch overlapping the previous hatch at some other angle then you can use the next option cross hatch area that is right now I'm able to only select one hatch what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this and select the second option and over here spacing one and angle one spacing two and angle two are given over here I'll select the second spacing as well to 0.5 the method is element as usual select this line and left click now you can see the difference the first hatch or first pattern which got created is at an angle of 45 degrees the next one is at an angle of 135 or minus 45 degrees that is your cross hatch area wherein you are going to create two hatches one hatch overlapping the other hatch right apart from this basically these hatches or patterns when you are going to represent them in a particular drawing the reason why you create these hatches is whenever you are going to section a particular 3D model whatever surface whatever area is going to come in contact with the cutting edge is going to be hatched that is right now this particular figure has these portions hatched and the circle over here the circle over here the circle over here these are not hatched even this rectangle vertical rectangle over here is not hatched this implies that in this 3d model whatever 3d subject uh, object this is it's a housing as can be seen over here this housing has this circular that is cylindrical holes over here cylindrical hole over here cylindrical hole hole and a vertical rectangular slot over here when I section this 3D object I am going to bring my cutting edge in order to section it you will be using a cutting edge right so that cutting edge is going to come in contact with the 3D model and only this surface which is hatched has come in contact the rest of them are not going to come in contact with that cutting edge okay. that is why we generally use the hatches they help us understand the object more clearly when you create sections so this is about your hatch patterns now in depth we are going to see this select this and delete it sorry I need to select this option and delete these hatches okay now when I have one rectangle over here and one more rectangle over here in this way now you can see we have two rectangles and in the hatch area option we have after element we have intersection union difference etc okay select the intersection option after which I'm going to select the first element and then the second element this is the intersecting region left click to accept and then go with your right click that is the hatch area which has been created over there in this way you have hatched only the intersecting portion I'll go with undo let us do it again I'm going with the pattern option selecting intersection method select this select this then go with your right click in order to accept the hatch when you're selecting the objects you'll go with left click obviously and then go with right click to accept that hatch of course you can go ahead and select delete option and this time instead of intersection I'll go with the union option select union 
select this rectangle select this rectangle then go with right click and the together the common area between the both of them has been hatched and next I'll go with pausing the session sorry uh, stopping the session over here we're going to resume in the next session